spying. He says he was just bringing the Internet to the island's small Jewish community. A legal blow to the Washington Redskins. The U.S. Patent Office cancels its trademark, calling it disparaging of Native Americans. It is a move that, if successful, could hit the NFL team where it hurts in its pocketbook. WJZ is live. Christy Leto explains the move and has some fan reaction. Christy? Well, Denise, the Redskins' bottom line could be at stake, and it has the team's attorneys vowing to appeal this ruling. Millions of dollars on the line after the U.S. Patent Office pulls the Washington Redskins trademark, calling the team name disparaging to Native Americans. Well, you're talking about giving up a whole brand identity. David Warshawski owns a sports marketing firm and says there's a revenue sharing deal for all NFL owners on merchandising sales. So if the team appeals and loses... It will be devastating for the Redskins' name, logo, and all of their dollar-making opportunities from trademarks. This comes as pressure mounts to change the team name. Their trademark attorney says this doesn't affect the team's ownership of and right to use the Redskins' name and logo. This ruling doesn't mean the team has to change their name, but it could be harder to stop unauthorized sales of merchandise with the team's name and logo on it. It's somewhat of a hit, sure. But it's a hot topic on CBS Radio's 105.7 The Fan. Does it feel like this is somewhat of a baby step in the maybe getting the name changed. The team's owner has long vowed he won't change it. Just have to believe Dan Snyder that he says that they'll never change the name, so hopefully he sticks to that. The local tribes have told me their fight is personal. It is offensive to us as indigenous people, and that's what counts. Changing the name has its own implications. I mean, you're talking about building brand equity from scratch, but if it holds true to history, the initial sales with a new name might be a positive. Now, an appeal could take years to play out. Denise, back to you. All right, thank you, Christy. The last time this happened was 1999, but U.S. District Judge found the Trademark Office had not explained why the Redskins' trademark was disparaging. And coming up, a stowaway tells a story why a teenager who survived a death-defying flight says he did it. A golf course becomes the scene of a police chase. Find out who was on the run. The Baltimore City Mayor is named...